In this video, I'm going to show you how to make zones come inside that's going to open up a nice little passing lane for you to be able to throw outside of clouds and outside of curl flat zones in Madden 22. Now these are better for uh, people that love to put their zone drops on 30 and just kind of sit in a heavy coverage. It's a great way to kind of deal with that. So uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in today's video, we're taking a look at a concept out of the trips tied in formation, but you can honestly apply this to pretty much any formation in the game and you'll find a lot of success with this. Now, if you want to learn more about the trips tied in, I've got a patreon membership where we actually have a full trips tied in offensive ebook in there and by becoming a patreon member you're going to get access instant and unlimited access to all of my madden 22 strategy guides in addition to that we also do weekly um pro tips and little meta update videos every single week that kind of break down the most up-to-date stuff of what's working and uh, what's going on in the game in the game right now Okay guys, so I just showed you my zone drops. I've got my clouds on 30, my curl flats on 10, and my hook curls on five. And we're gonna take a look at this concept. Now again, you can do this out of any play in this formation, but I love this out of PA counter go. You do need a tight end apprentice. If you don't have a tight end apprentice, you could use the play Pat's YN out of the New England playbook, or you could just uh, put him on a smart routed in. But I want to show you kind of the problem. So um, one of my favorite route combinations in Madden 22 is this right here. It's the slant post combo with the flat on the back side. And this is such a good play, um, you know, if your opponent is running a lot of cover too. But if you're playing a savvy opponent, one of the things that they'll do is they'll put this guy in an inside quarter and that will um, help how the post route is going to be covered and so your tight end pose becomes your best route but if you notice here if i try to throw this to the sideline that corner breaks on the ball and you see that he can kind of get you know in that in that throwing lane now another thing that i want to point out just quickly here is depending on which hash hash mark you are on so i'm on the right hash mark right here um but if you're on the left hash mark what i found with this is that the post will sometimes pull that cloud so far inside that he'll actually play this tight end post right there. So you see, I can throw that right there, but the problem is, and I'll show you this real quick, I'm gonna move the ball to the other hash mark. If I was on you know, the left hash, the left side of the field, I just have found traditionally that this can be a little bit problematic for my route combo. So um, I'm just gonna go to Tampa 2 real quick. And what you'll notice is a lot of times this post will suck in the cloud you'll see here he kind of pulls him inside and now he's in a good position even better position to be able to break on the ball this is also true of a 30 yard curl flat if he sucks in from the if you're if you're maybe doing like a cover three mabel which i'll show you that real quick um that's going to look a little bit more like this if you will and now the the cloud is coming from the slot as opposed to coming from the outside corner. So he'll, he's a little bit more likely to kind of suck in and you see that he's kind of right in that throwing lane, right? So this is a little bit problematic, especially for this route combo. This is like I said, one of my favorite route combinations in you know in the game. So how do, how do we deal with this? Well, the best thing that I know how to do is to, instead of using a flat route on that uh, trip side, we're gonna use a curl uh, or a hitch. And what I found with this hitch is it really is great for holding the zone. So we're gonna streak, leave this fade from Evans. We're gonna put a hitch to my Miller and then we're gonna slant Goblin. And what you'll see here is this curl, um, this, you see how that cloud sucks inside like significantly. And again, this is a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit better on either. I mean, you can do this on either hash to be honest, but it is really, really good to the right hash. And I'll show that in just a second, but, and you don't even have to leave the fade. You could put a post out there. Um, but I've just found with this hitch. And again, if I can get a little time here, you'll see that this hitch, see how he holds these zones right on that grid. And it leaves this little tight little window to be able to kind of give me some outside leverage so that I can throw that against that coverage. Now, um, the same thing is going to apply, the same thing is going to apply to a cover three Mabel. So if they're in a cover three version, 
uh, of this defense. I'll just show you my play art here, cover three versions of the defense. What you should see is the same exact thing. So again, these curl flats um, will suck inside just like this and it leaves this nice little grid and you see it's even better against the cover. It's really good against cover three Mabel. Notice that the player is just freezing on that side. Now, you can also apply this, you can also apply this to the left hash um, a little bit as well. So if we're on this short side of the field, this is a great little way to again, hold zones so that you can get this route combo um, to be even more effective than it already is. So what we can do is, especially if they're using, you know, if they're not running zone drops, then you might, you don't really need this tip. But if you're playing someone that's running zone drops, this is very helpful. So notice here again, the grid system, they suck inside and you see how open that is on the sideline. Um, I'm gonna show you just a, a, a one more zone drop cocktail that I have faced and that is a 20, um, a 20 yard cloud. I uh, just wanna show you the 20 yard cloud. And the reason that they would put a 20 yard cloud is kind of if you're, you know, just consistently, and I mean consistently kind of almost spamming this route combination, like this is your key route combo. And what you'll see is that 20 yard, uh, that 20 yard cloud, if I don't put a hitch out here, he's gonna be kind of right in the area and you see how he can play. I mean, that's a, pretty much an interception in any, you know, any way you slice it up. But whenever we go to our hitch concept, a lot of times what happens is again, he's gonna get sucked inside because we have a hitch there, right? And so, and, and you can use a backside post if you want, that kind of pulls him in as well. So you see how he kind of sucks inside and then now look at this little window that we can throw it on the outside and kind of post him up just like that. Now, another little cool thing that you can do is you can actually um, hitch this inside receiver. And this is a little bit of a, kind of a specific setup that I like to go to just in this kind of, kind of in this case, um, you know, if they're running something like this, this is one of my favorite ways to beat it. So what I'll do is I'll hitch this inside receiver, I'll streak Scotty Miller, and then I will slant Mike Evans. And so it just kind of creates a little bit of a, a nuance to this, but it re really sucks in this cloud. There didn't do a great job. Um, but you could streak any of those slots and still have that clear out route, if you will, uh, for your tight end post. So those are just some little nuances um, that you can apply that I think will really help your slant post combo. Slant post, in my opinion, is probably the best route combination um, in this game. It's just a really hard route combination to be able to use her. And so when you hitch this inside guy, um, it just I've, I've just noticed that it will, again, just kind of further that grid principle and it really sucks them inside. Um, there they played it okay, but you know, again, mess with the hitch, mess, mess with those concepts, you know, and uh, and I think you're gonna find some, su some success with it. And then again, another little trick that you can do is you can do the same basic thing with a corner. So like PA slot corner, for example, if they're running a concept that, you know, is a max coverage and they're doing something like this, you'll notice that this hitch route to triangle oftentimes will pull that cloud in and you see how he's not playing that outside leverage anymore. So use hitches to suck zones inside so that you can then throw them outside. That's basically the idea. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. And if you wanna learn more about my Patreon membership, I would really encourage you, uh, or my Tripside Any book, I'd really encourage you to join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for it. And again, you're gonna get over 22 of our Madden 22 strategy uh, guides on offense and defense, as well as we have our weekly pro tips in there. You get all, all of those all year long. So again, if you wanna sign up for that, there's a link in the description that you can click on and I'll take you right over to the membership and you can check it out.